Hello people, this is Tiro Koberker and today I'm going to teach you how to do the bubble sort in C++. So I include these two libraries, iostream and algorithm, and we're going in the main function. I declare n, I read n, and I set n to be the length of my array right here, right? I declare the array a. This array will hold, will store the elements I'm going to sort. I read the array with this looper here, very easy. And there I declare this boolean swapper. You're gonna see why I named it swapper. I do this do while for loop right here. Right, this do while here. And I'm gonna keep doing it until swapper is true. Now each time I'm gonna enter the loop, I'm gonna set the swapper to be false. And then this loop right here follows for every index from the first element until the know the last, the one before the last element, right here. I'm gonna increment the variable and for each element, if the next element is smaller, right, so so if this is bigger than the next one, we're gonna swap them. So this is for the ascending, right? If I had this, it was gonna be descending. So let's do the ascending first. We swap the variables to do the swap, you're going to need the algorithm, right? And we set swapper to be true. So from, from the moment we have the swapper to be true, we know that the loop is going to it's gonna happen again. We're going to enter the loop again, right? So when we, when we exit this loop, we're going to come here in this while and see that the swapper is true since we, ha since we have made a swap. So since we have made a swap, it means we have an element that needs to be checked again. So we go in the loop again, and in the worst case scenario, you're gonna enter this loop right here n times. So since this is n minus one, the complexity of the algorithm of the algorithm is n in the power of two. All right. So this is the basic uh, loop you're gonna need to know, and then we output our array. So let's press F11 and try this out. Okay. So let's. Right, test case down. So let's say we have uh, eight numbers. One, three, five, sorry, five, minus 23, one, three, two. We have one more number we need, just a zero. There we go. This is the array when we have the descending order, as we said. So let's change the code to make the ascending order. All right, so do we, what we need to change is this symbol right here, as I said. We're going to do this to be greater. And thus, we're going to have ascending order, right? So let's run through these two. All right, so we have changed the code. Let's try the, in another array just to make the ascending. Let's say 9, minus 23, 2, 3, 4. And there you go, the ascending order, as we said. So that's pretty much the code, guys. That's how you are developing it in C++. Bubble sort gives n in the power of 2, the time complexity that it gives. So if you like the video and you now know how to make the bubble sort, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Goodbye, guys.